you how to be a sweaty hot mess like this at the end of your workouts. Look forward to it. I'm miserable and nauseous. <laughs> I'm all look good. Okay, so today's workout, I decided to switch it up and kind of go back old school Nikki style, where I tried technically like a shorter workout. It took me less time, but I kept the intensity up the entire time, like very, very minimal breaks, kind of do everything more fast paced. And then I maybe rested like 30 seconds to a minute in between any set or rep at any point in time. So yeah, we finished the workout in like 35 minutes, 40 minutes maybe and my heart rate was like above 150 or 160 the whole time. People only get your life for seasons. We're the off here. Um. Death and taxes, that's all we give. And you can make a life, but can't make a living. You can make it work, but that still ain't driven. Give a lot, but that still ain't giving. Living life like this ain't real though. Every night like this, I feel so dead wrong. Collision is head on. My vision is dead and gone. Perception of right and wrong. I've been here so very long. Right here in this very song. Look around, everything changes. See like everybody just strangers. Don't go outside cause it's dangerous. Why everybody wanna be famous? I'm so OCD if they know this Start off with Bulgarian split squats, which are literally probably my least favorite exercise ever. So I know I should do it more often. And I just did 10 reps with weight and then 10 jumping reps without weight. And you know, it was pretty brutal. Got my heart rate up and my quads were on fire. I think since I technically do glute workouts a lot. My quads were just kind of shocked into activation there. <laughs> I know Bulgarian foot squats can also hit your glutes just depending on how far you are away from what your leg is on. Just like a lunge can more hit your glutes when it's a shorter step rather than a longer step, etc. So for me it was all quads with leg extensions. Savage. My quads were like literally just burning by the end of those three sets. And then I wanted to do a super set with leg press and ham curls because I haven't done ham curls like that in a really long time I normally just do like straight leg, leg deadlifts for hammies or seated leg curls so I watched one of my old videos and I was like oh I haven't done those in a while so I threw in dumbbell hamstring curls which are really hard and like you have to keep your whole body like core activated like everything strong to keep the dumbbell in between your legs otherwise it'll slip out it kind of hits a little different area of my hamstrings a little lower down and that with leg press, which that leg press is so heavy. I have one plate on the damn thing and I'm still struggling. I swear it's just this leg press though because I can do more weight on other leg presses, but nonetheless, did that to, for like 10 or 12 reps with the And then finish up with pulsing lunges on the Smith machine, or I guess you'd call it split squats also. And with the leg stance that I was using, I felt that and more in my under butt region as I like to call it, so that like glute hammy tie-in kind of area. And then just finish off with walking lunges, basically just to like stretch everything out and make everything feel good afterwards. And I really wonder what their parents are. Look around, everything changes. It feels like I've been buried alive. workouts is just to keep the intensity up because you keep your cardiovascular system going and technically burn more calories during than when I'm doing more relaxed sets or I guess resting in between where you're kind of working more on strength and trying to make sure you can get the weight up. Uh, these kind of workouts will always be lighter weight but more intense. So I think that was really effective for me last time I was trying to lose fat. So I'm kind of going to start leaning towards those kind of workouts to see if I can see more progress that way. So I'm feeling good after this workout. This is the best workout I've had in like a week. Um, so I'm glad I got it over with. 
and the whole way over here you can even ask Ashley, I was like, I don't wanna work out, I don't wanna work out, I don't wanna work out. But I'm glad I did it, and it was successful. I hope you all enjoyed as much as I did. <laughs> and just look how happy he is. <laughs> Okay, and that is today's high intensity workout. Oh, my hair's so sweaty now. <laughs> so I hope you all enjoyed it. A thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this with, you know, tips and tricks and information during. And I will see you in tomorrow's vlog.